Okay, we are here right out in front of the unit number 16. And I wanna show you the outside before we go inside. So they do have two brand new um, townhouses going up right here. That house to the right of it has very recently been renovated and there are a couple cute little houses down the street. Um, and then, so there is guest parking and then there's also, so there's assigned spots. I can't figure out which one is yours as unit number 16 because they're 5051. I don't, I can't quite figure them out, but we'll, we'll get to that. Um, so straight down that way, that's your walk to the ocean. So it's maybe, I don't know, five, 10 minute walk. It's very close, which is super awesome. So, and you do have a little hose spout right out front. So if you want to water plants or wash your feet off before going inside after the beach, it's right there. I, I like these little townhouses. I think they're very cute. And this is kind of an up and coming area. A lot of things are getting flipped and renovated and the, I think the values are gonna start to increase very soon. So we walk in the front door and you have one little closet here, your little coat closet. And then straight ahead is the living room and to the right is your kitchen. This is gonna be, I guess, your pantry here. Perfect. So yeah, these are definitely the original cabinets, but they did put a nice piece of granite on top and the cabinets seem to be in pretty good shape. This looks like wine racks, so that's really cute. I hope you like wine because there's a lot of them or whatever else. You can put some Pellegrinos up there. <laughs> Anyhow, so you've got a, a newer stove and microwave. And I assume all of this stuff comes with the units it's in it, since it's an investment and a flip, but I would have to ask. Good bit of cabinet storage. This seems pretty new and they did the right thing and put a garbage disposal on it which is super great. Pretty good water pressure. Oops. And these are little ledges on the windows so you can I love people put all kinds of plants and stuff out on that ledge so it's very homey and so you do have a view into the living room and everything smells freshly freshly renovated that smell of fresh carpet and fresh paint so you can put two bar stools right here if you wanted and then this is like your little breakfast dining area and you would probably put your sofa on this wall over here and your TV would go over there. I don't, oh, I don't even, oh no, here's the cable. So I don't know however you wanted to do that. I don't use cable, so I just use the internet. And then you have your nice little balcony. This is definitely an older slider. Still works. So you can tell they definitely replaced some of these pieces of wood and you can paint these to match or leave them. Either way, you do have outdoor storage out here, which is a really good size. And your AC unit. So sometimes you can tell by the serial number, the age. So I would guess, and you can look this up, that's the serial number. It's either, so it's either 2009 or a 17. Um, 
but you can look up how you tell the age of an AC unit. I would guess 2009, it doesn't look as new as 17. down here light switch okay so they put nice new mirrors in to make it updated some new fixtures the sink is the original sink I don't know if looks like they replaced the toilets or at least the plumbing because they have the tag so that is nice and then we head upstairs. Okay. I didn't see. So there's a thermostat up here. I don't recall seeing one on the third, first floor. But of course, this is all new flooring. Thermostat here. Um, you can put a closet door on that if you wanted to cover it up. But it looks like it looks like this was bigger than the original because that pipe is sticking out too far to get a closet door on there. You could put a curtain or something to cover it up. But this is where your washer and dryer go. And then you've got a bedroom this way and a bedroom this way. And a closet here. Can't ever have enough storage. So in this, I would believe is the master because it's got an on-site bathroom and two closets. It's a really good size. You could definitely, I think, fit a king bed from here to here with two side tables. Maybe a dresser over here. And here's your ensuite bathroom. So, it doesn't look like they replaced the tile. They definitely replaced the vanity. Maybe the toilet because it's got that new plumbing tag, original bathtub. But those yeah, bathtubs last forever. Um, they definitely picked the wrong size mirror because it is hanging off the side <laughs> and it's not centered with the light. You could put a smaller mirror, it would look a lot better. But all very nicely done. get this all inspected too to make sure all the work was done properly. I have no inspector. Okay. So moving on. So you have a bedroom there and this is your hallway bath. So original vanity. Mirror fits better on this one. <laughs> They did a pretty, pretty decent job of not seeing any big um, red flags that sometimes you can see in, in newer stuff where they skip corners. And this, so they call this a bedroom. It's definitely a little small. It's got a nice little sunlight. Got a closet here. But it's an odd shape because you come in and the door is kind of in the way. I'm gonna close the door. So size wise, I would think you can probably fit a full, a queen would probably be too big. You could definitely fit a twin, but you could probably fit a full with two side tables and they have their own balcony. I do like to point out fogged windows. Um, so basically here, these are double paned the outer pane, a lot of times the seal doesn't, it's not, there's nothing wrong with them, but the outer seal breaks. And so all that humidity just gets into the pane and causes it to fog because it's just so humid down here at the beach that salt water eats into everything. Um, but you're gonna need to replace these probably sliders in the next several years. It would be good for them. There's nothing, I mean, they'd still do their job, but fogged windows are not very pretty. And so now we go up to the third floor.
So you do have a pull down attic up here. So you have lots of good storage. And then this bedroom up here is a really good size with its own walk-in. So you can call this the master too if you wanna walk up to the third floor because it's humongous. Um, and again, you see more fogged windows. It's just the outer pane breaks and that humidity gets in there. So you're looking at new sliders in the next while. But that building right there is the ocean, that tall building. Um, and that's Caribbean Resort. So you're walking distance very easily. But this is a very large room up here. Vaulted ceilings, new fixture. This is concerning. It's definitely leaked at some point. Those skylights have leaking issues, so you probably need to go reseal the skylight. But an inspector can tell you if that's currently um, has any moisture reading or if it's old and just never got painted. These seem like new closet doors that they, instead of just painting them, they replace these. So here's your closet up here. So the downstairs bedroom has a larger closet because you get two of them. But this one has a larger bathroom because you get a double vanity. So original vanity, they painted it black. Same mirrors. Some pretty overhead fixtures. Linen closet. So it, this kind of confirms that they replaced the toilets in my thought because the tile, they didn't replace the tile. So it must have been like a square base before and they replaced it with a round base and didn't worry about the tile. So this is your upstairs shower. Oh, that's, I thought that was a skylight. So that is that up here. I'll just walk down through everything one more time. Oh, I forgot to cover this little space over here. So again, drop down attic. You've got another hallway closet out here. And then you've got this little nook over here. Whatever you want to do. I've seen even people put like a teeny little desk because you do have a nice view of your little community. So new townhomes there. That's a really large 509A. So that's a duplex, I guess. They've got an A and a B and some cute little houses up the street. Looks like the parking lot was fairly recently redone. So this is one of your skylights up here. So a lot of stuff is new, but you're looking at new windows in the next, next few years. And um, typically in South Carolina, sellers do not want to replace these windows and doors. For one, they take a very, very long time to come in. And for two, they're, they can get expensive, expensive. And if they're only trying to replace the fogged ones, that leaves you with not matching windows. Um, and in our old contract, fogged windows was not a contractual obligation. We just changed our contract recently to um, a different version. So sellers are used to not replacing windows and they're not usually up to replace windows, especially on something like this that they just did all this work to. But anyhow, back down to the ground again. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon.